Hello and welcome to my channel. As you may know, this month is Pride Month and even though it's in the end of the month, I still wanted to do something with it. You may not, you probably don't know this, but I am actually bisexual and I've always felt like we don't really get a chance to say that because you don't have to come out when you're bisexual, especially if you have boyfriends, which I often do. So that's why I thought this would be a fun, fun way to mention it after all. So for today's video we're going to use the Revolution X Sof palette again because this is actually my only rainbow palette and I figured a rainbow palette would be appropriate. I could of course have chosen different palettes and then combined those but this is all the shades I need. So we're just going to do well I guess it's a pretty typical look. I'm going to I'm just going to do the full rainbow around both eyes. So I'm going to do a circle. So that's what we're doing today. But real quick before we start, I want to thank you for clicking on my video. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel. And let's get into the look. I'm going to prime my eyes using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Eye Primer. So for the eye look, I'll actually zoom you in a little bit. So I think I'm going to do yellow, orange, red, purple, blue, green. Like that. Or should I do the traditional red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, all on the upper eye. I kind of want to do the yellow on the inner corner. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm taking this slightly fluffy br blending brush and I'm going into the yellow which is called Sunshine and I'm putting that right here in the inner corner. I think I'm going to do a cut crease with a gold so I'm bringing it up a little bit high. This is a pretty good yellow. I've been wanting to do a second look on YouTube with the Sof palette. I did do one on Instagram and I still need to do my sunset halo eye. But oh well, this took priority. Now I'm going into cocktail, which is the orange. I'm just going to use the same brush for all this, but I am going to clean it up on my color switch in between. I'm just going to see if I can build up this orange a little bit more. Now I'm going into the red, which is called Extra Spice. And I'm also going to put this in the outer corner of my eye. Now I'm just taking the orange, re-intensify it a little bit. And then I'm cleaning up my brush very well and I'm going into the yellow. And re-intensify that one as well. And now with a Pretty clean brush, I am going to go along the edge of everything and blend it out a little bit. There, that's a little bit better. I do think this eye comes a little bit higher than this one, so I'm taking the orange and I'm just putting it a little bit higher. There, that's better. Now I'm going to switch brushes. 
I'm going in with this small packing brush and I'm first going into the purple which is called Papa and I'm stamping it in the outer corner cleaning up my brush and going into Blue Lagoon the matte blue shade and I'm putting this in the center underneath the lower lash line and then finally I'm going into Maman which is the green and I'm putting that right here and I am taking it a little bit in so you get this cool shape and now I do feel like I need to connect this yellow a little bit better just like that and I feel like making the purple a little bit stronger and that's it for the mattes i do really like the way these performed and i do like this kind of rainbow eye i think it turned out pretty well so there are a couple of nice shimmer shades metallics in this palette and yesterday i used this to do a sort of neutral look and i was blown away by them so i'm just going to do a cut crease and then fill in with these two metallic shades for my cut crease i just use the same primer i put a little bit on the back of my hand and then i take a small flat brush with my finger because you want this edge to be sharp but this edge to be blending into everything else like this maybe just a little bit more right here now I'm taking another flat packing brush and I'm going to add the metallics I'm going to start with not gonna lie which is the more bronzy one and then I'm going to do mirror ball which is the more champagne one on the inside and these do pick up a little bit difficult but they're totally worth it I mean, that's beautiful, right? <laughs> and then I'm going into mirror ball. I'm 
And I think these two make a very pretty lid shade. And I'm dragging it a little bit higher on the top side. And then finally with my first brush, I'm actually picking up a little bit of extra spice. And I'm just blending in the edge right over there. That's it for the eyeshadows. I'm going to add a turquoise eyeliner on the waterline. This one is a little bit old, so I'm not sure if it is still working well. And then I'm just going to add a lot of mascara. I'm taking my Catrice Lift Up. I'm going in with a little bit more, especially on the outsides. And that's what it looks like with liner and mascara. I don't feel like wearing lashes with this. I think this is fine. I'll put on some face makeup and then maybe we can finish the face together. So I'm back, I have my face makeup on. Everything I'm wearing will be listed down below. Um, but yeah, I'm actually pretty happy with how it turned out today. So all I need is a blush, highlight and a lip. So let's do those. Since the majority of my eye look is warm, I wanted to do something a little bit more orangey red. So I figured I'd pull out my Anastasia blush trio. The sticker is gone, so I'm not sure <laughs> what shade this is. But it's the, the red and orange one. <laughs> and... I think I'm going to start with the most orange one over here. These are pretty pigmented, but they do blend out very pretty. I think this is actually perfect. This is my go-to blush trio if I want something warm toned. Maybe a little bit more. <laughs> yes, that's perfect. I figured I'd use my Essence highlighter since I've only used it once. This is the D highlighter <laughs> in the shade number one, Mesmerizing. This is a pretty subtle highlight, but I don't know, it could work out. It is pretty neutral, champagne-y. That's actually not as subtle as I remember. Oh, I should have used the Soap highlighter. Oh well. This one is kind of nice. I used this for the first time in my full face of Essence. I bought it especially for that video. And I remember not being very much blown away by it, but I like it. kind of nice. Now I want to go all out so I want a really bright reddish lip and I figured I wore this yesterday as well this uh, Rouge Coco Flesh in the shade Fire number 62. This is a reddish orange and I feel like this will be perfect.
This one has a lot of pigmentation. These Rouge Coco flashes are usually a little bit more sheer. But this one isn't. So I feel like this really completes the look completely. And now the blush doesn't seem as heavy anymore. So I'll come a little bit closer and this is the finished look. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. I'm very happy I got to participate this year because last year I just straight up forgot to do anything. So this is my rematch. <laughs> So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, again, if you like this video, please consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next one.